Hey friends, Mike Adams here with First Person Audio. Let's talk in this video about the D-Clicker within Audacity. The D-Clicker is a powerful tool that you can use to get rid of dry mouth sounds, you know, the little tongue clicks, the things that go on kind of subtly uh, while you're talking, while you're speaking. You really don't want those in your final production because they tend to be a little bit annoying, especially if someone is listening to you, listening to what you've done, the audio that you've created using earbuds or headphones, it's going to be more pronounced even there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the D-Clicker tool within Audacity, which by the way is free, and how to use it in order to eliminate or reduce mouth sounds and mouth clicks and unwanted sounds like that within your audio production. Before we start, I want to mention that if you're not wearing headphones or a good set of earbuds, you might want to pause this video right now and Take care of that. Put on some headphones, put on some good earbuds because you're going to hear better what's going on using those than you will with a regular computer speaker or, you know, a speaker in your phone or whatever you're listening to this on. You might want to pause it right now, throw on some headphones because you'll be glad you did. So without any more delay, let's get going. In this screen that I've got open here, I have two audio files that are identical. You'll see the top one I've labeled before because I haven't done anything to it yet. And the bottom one is labeled after. So we're going to put the effects on the after file and then compare the before to the after. I recorded these using my NT1 uh, microphone, Rode NT1 microphone, into my Zoom H6. And then I simply imported it into Audacity here so that we could edit it. The file itself, the waveform itself, has no effects on it other than I normalized it so we could see it better, we could hear it a little bit better. I should mention right up front here again that if you're not using headphones, you might want to pause this video and put on a good set of headphones so you can hear more clearly the mouth sounds that are going on here in and among the audio. They're more prominent at the beginning of this waveform and then again at the end of this waveform. So I think that's where we'll be spending most of our time. As we look at this declicker effect within Audacity and use it to remove unwanted mouth sounds. You should also be aware that this plugin is not included in Audacity when you download Audacity. At least I don't think it is. It didn't used to be. But now that we're on Audacity version 3.0.5, which was released yesterday, perhaps it's included in there. I'm not sure. But I don't think it is. So what you'll need to do is open up your web browser, and I'll have the links in the description below so you don't have to go look for it. But open up your web browser, and first of all, go to the Audacity Forum website, and I'll have this address again for you to simplify your process. And once you get here to this website, scroll down to where you see the dclicker.ny and dsser.ny. You can download both of those and install them in your Audacity program, and then enable them, and you'll have both of those plugins. In this video, we're just talking about the D-Clicker, but we can come back another time and talk about the d -esser. If you're unsure once you download this, if you're unsure how to install it, here's some instructions from Audacity on how to install these plugins, and I'll have this link down below as well in case you need it. But let's go back to my Audacity screen here, and once you get the D-Clicker installed on your computer, you're going to want to come up to the effects drop down window and you should see it right here. Now, this first group of, of um, plugins is what's normally included with Audacity when you download Audacity for the first time. And you can see there's a divider line right here. I'm running a Mac, so I have these audio unit plugins available to me as well. And there are several of those. They begin with AU. Well, we're not really concerned with this click removal tool here that comes with Audacity, it, it really kind of doesn't do much. I've never actually been able to get it to work very well. What we're going to do is after you've installed and enabled the D-Clicker plugin that I just showed you, you're going to find it right here. So make sure you've got that installed and then go ahead and restart this or go ahead and start this video up from where you paused it and I'll show you what's going on with it. Now the first thing that I would like to do is come back over here into this top waveform that I've got soloed right now, and I'm going to rewind it to the beginning. And let's play through a little bit of this. Again, pretty much just the front part. I left a gap right here. You'll see a gap that uh, is there that I left intentionally with, with one mouth click. 
and a little bit of weird mouse sounds after it. So let's, uh, together, let's play through this first part of this waveform and then the last part of this waveform. And again, please have headphones on. You'll hear the mouth clicks, you'll hear the mouth noises better that way. And especially when we fix it, you'll be able to tell the difference. So I'm gonna push spacebar to play a little bit of this. This is the audio track that I'm using to illustrate and demonstrate the D-Clicker that's available within Audacity for free. I'm speaking to you through my Rode NT1 mic, which is a condenser mic, which picks up everything in the room, all the So what you heard there, especially here at the beginning, when I said D-Clicker, it kind of put in some weird mouth sounds. And again, right around in this area right here, I got some strange mouth sounds. If we come here toward the end, let's see what it sounds like. In the well, let's see what Audacity will do to smooth out this audio in terms of getting rid of the mouth clicks and mouth sounds that we don't want present in our final production. So especially right in here, mouth clicks, it, it just sounded ugly. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't cute at all. And so let's focus on the beginning of this track and toward the end of this track and see what we can do with it in terms of cleaning it up. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to solo the bottom track. And again, these are identical. Other than normalization, I haven't done any kind of editing to them. But I'm going to select this entire track by clicking in the track header. And again, we're on the after track right now. And then I'm going to come up to the effect drop down window and I'm going to scroll down to our D clicker. And I'm going to click it. Click the D clicker. Now, these are the default values that come with this D clicker plugin. I've not changed these. These work good for me. You should try these default settings first, and if they don't work good for you, then you can tweak things around in order to create something that does work for you. But like I said, I, you know, these right out of the box, not that there was a box, but figuratively speaking, right out of the box, these worked really well for me. So I'm going to come over here and click OK. We'll let it kind of do its thing. It runs through the declicking process. And then when it's done, you see the waveform changed a little bit. You can see right here that this click that I left in the silent spot has really been reduced a lot from the one up above it. Now let's go ahead and put our cursor at the beginning and let's play that bottom track just a little bit and get the feel for it. This is the audio track that I'm using to illustrate and demonstrate the D clicker that's available within Audacity for free. I'm speaking to you through my... So that's pretty good. Let's come back up to the top one and let's go right through this area right here and listen to it again. When I say D-Clicker, you're going to hear it sound kind of ugly. Illustrate and demonstrate the D-Clicker that's available. So I said D-Clicker, you know, it just wasn't pretty. Now let's listen to it after it's been fixed. Illustrate and demonstrate the D-Clicker that's available within. That's much better. If we come back here to the end, Again, I'm going to solo, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I'm going to solo this top track. And let's start right about here and listen to it again here at the end. To smooth out this audio in terms of getting rid of the mouth clicks and mouth sounds that we don't want present in our final production. So again, mouth clicks and mouth sounds, it just kind of, it sounded sloppy. So let's solo the bottom track now and let's listen to it after the after picture. Here we go in terms of getting rid of the mouth clicks and mouth sounds that we don't want present in our final production. So that cleaned it up really well. And again, this plugin is available to you and it's free and it runs really well. It works really well within Audacity and it's another tool that you can use to clean up your audio in post-production. So that's the power of the D-Clicker tool within Audacity, which again is a free plugin it will make your audio production just that much sweeter and sound that much better. So I advise getting it, I recommend getting it, and using it on everything you do just to make sure that those subtle mouse sounds and clicking sounds are removed or at the very least reduced in your audio production. So that's it for this time for First Person Audio. Thank you for joining me. Remember, you can find me online at firstpersonaudio.com. I also do the Audacity Bootcamp podcast, and I teach a bestseller course on Udemy called Audacity Bootcamp, Beginner to Advanced. I'll have links to that in the description below as well, so feel free to check it out. Until next time, see ya.